Um, hello, this is Computer Help Dude 94, and I'm going to show you um, how to get your tapes onto your computer and then onto your CD CDs, so you can play them in your car and stuff like that, or just have them on your iPod or whatever. Um, so. Uh, the three things you'll need that are important is this. It's a dual, both male, uh, headphone jack things. I'll put a link in the description of what they are exactly, like where you can find them and stuff. Uh, the second thing is you'll need a computer or a laptop with a microphone jack and you can buy like if I don't know what computer w or wouldn't have one but anyway and another thing is you're going to need a tape player with a headphone out jack so what you're going to do is you're going to plug this into the thing I don't really need to say anything. Then take this, put it in the microphone jack. And uh, I'll show you the programs you need on your computer. Um, I'll just go ahead and say it. Subscribe. Uh, follow me on Twitter. Uh, and uh, hope you enjoy this video. Alrighty, the program you need is called Odyssey. So you want to go on your web browser to either Google or Yahoo whatever you use, Bing, I don't know, whatever floats your boat. Uh, and then you're going to want to type in Odyssey. I always spell it wrong. It's an A, not an I. I'll put the link in the description so you won't have to read all this crap. Um, so go to their website. I'll put this link in the description. You can read all about it and, like, that sort of junk. Um, you're going to want to click Windows, Mac, Linux. You can do this with any program. It'll work. I've tested it on all operating systems. So you're going to want to download the thing. There's plugins and all sorts of junk you can get for Audacity or Odyssey or what, however the heck you pronounce it. Uh, I think that's a mystery. But I canceled it since I already have it installed. So um, you're going to want to open it up. And you're gonna wanna uh, you're gonna wanna go down to preferences under the edit menu. Af this is after you installed it. Then you go through all this crap right here. Then you wanna go to audio slash io. Then you're gonna wanna if you want to you make sure uh, like uh, play it'll play through the music sound play through. It'll play as the tape is recording, but. Uh, that's about all it'll do. You don't have to. Um, I mean. Um, so now after you've got the tape in, you're going to want to press record. And it'll go through and it'll make a funky sound, so don't worry. Then if you haven't done what I told you to do and start the music near near where it'll start, you'll get this right here, that static key. Uh, and you're going to want to make sure those the bars at the top do not hit the very end. You're going to want them to hit... Uh, about near the end to get it as close as you can or else it'll be really soft uh, you can adjust that and um, yeah so it'll go and play through it'll play all the music um, you know it's fun we, it, it'll this thing will keep flashing and you'll uh, the, you, it'll go on, and you guys are probably wondering uh, if the uh, how do I split the tracks or whatever. But you're gonna want to first thing you're gonna want to do is take this off that. So you're gonna want to highlight and press delete or backspace, I, either one. So then you're gonna want to go to where the music, the part that you want, ends, uh, the song track, whatever. You, then you're gonna want to put a bar there and highlight it. So I'll do that. I did two tracks just for the sake of time because I didn't feel it like listening to all that uh, all the way through. 
so you're going to want to highlight it, and this takes forever, I am warning you. Uh, it takes freaking forever to highlight three minutes, or if you have like a different tape that has like a ten minute song, it'll take forever to highlight it all, unless you zoom out. Uh, I didn't do that, just uh, I didn't feel like it. You can zoom out with that little button up in the corner that has the little minus sign in the thing, or the magnifying glass, rather. Uh, then when you get to the very end, as I'm about to write about now, you're going to want to go up to File, click on File, if I can get there, um, and go down to Export Select or er, Section. As uh, the reason why I didn't do MP3 uh, before I get any crap on it is because you have to have a plugin, and I didn't install a plugin. So you're gonna want to whatever you want your file name to be. Um, I'll just type in what it was, Sammy Hagar. Okay, Sammy Hagar. Save. So after you've done that. You know, you can, you know, it'll be right on your desktop, right there. So, oh, let's see. Uh, I can that. Okay. So, now we go to where that line was. Or make a new line. Uh, and then highlight the rest of it, or up until the next track. And you just do this until you get all your tracks separated. Or you might just want one side of something and you just want it to play all the way through. I, I'm just showing you how to separate the tracks so I don't get that many questions about it. Uh, this is just how you separate tracks. Um, and I'll show you how to burn it on a CD next. Which, if you guys don't know how to do that, that's pretty weird. But I'll show it to you guys anyway. Uh, some of that stuff can be... Uh, okay. So don't highlight that little bit at the end, that's just me shutting off the tape. Uh, see, this is what happens when I try and export as an MP3. See, I'll type in, it'll look like it's going to work. Add to, so it doesn't erase my first one. See? I didn't download that plugin. Uh, so go up here, export as, section as WAV, and type in Sammy, oh, I'm just going to do Sammy Hagar 2 for the heck of it, and um, save changes, you don't have to, you can if you want, it just takes up more space, and why, since you already have it both imported, but if you accidentally erase it, I guess it's good to have it, so, okay, yeah, you got your files right there, um, yeah, let me, okie dokie, so uh, now if you have iTunes, like I do, um, a lot of people do for their iPod. Um, so, wait for it to open up. I, I had already imported them, but just for the sake of crap, um, I'll do show you how. So you just click, highlight them, drag them in. Not that hard. Um, once they're in, you know, burn to a CD. This is pretty self-explanatory burn you know or if you just plug in your iPod they'll sync right up to your iPod so you don't have to worry about that um, so now here's what you can do if you have S Windows 7 like me just add to player list and it'll play through them click that little thing up in the corner not that corner that corner right there okay so then it'll show you what's playing and you, you go over to the burn you know, move it, do the little snap feature, I love that. Um, drag them in the burn file, burn, you know. And if you have a zoom, I don't know how, or the, I think it'll work, um, but that's pretty self-explanatory.